I'll be showing how you can connect your Neon Postgres database to Next.js. Just a quick overview of this is the first step is to set up a Next.js app. Second is to connect it to Neon database, which is the official database of this channel. And third is to deploy it to Vercel. I'll show this through a simple GitHub connection. So to start, we'll set up a Next.js app, or you can clone the repo in the description below. To create a Next.js app, you can run npx create next app at latest and then give a directory. Let's do that. After you clone the code, you're going to want to run npm install and this will install all the dependencies in the project. Next, we're going to connect the Next.js app to Neon with a route of API slash Neon. Now that we have that all installed, let's go over to pages and I made an API directory. Then in the API directory, we'll name a file and call it neon.js. So I set up this neon.js in order to pull the database connection. So this is all I'm doing is going through, setting up that connection and then inserting data into a table that I have that's called next.js. And just to show how easy it is to set this stuff up on the Neon side, all I did was I went over to the dashboard, went over and said Next.js, gives me the code to add, and also the ENV that I just popped into my project. Also, just to show it, there is a Next.js table, and I can easily go in here and make sure that there's being rows added to the table every time that I expect it in my application. So. Neon makes this really easy to visualize, connect, and just interact with your database. Let's run this locally to make sure that it's all good. So npm run dev. So you'll notice it's running at port 3000 on your local host. So let's go over there. Then to test out Neon, I'm gonna go to the console right here just to show you, this is the current table in Next.js. So let's go over and go to API slash Neon, since this is the route that's gonna execute that JavaScript code that we have. And here you'll see a set of JSON. Now let's go over here and notice that this is the last row that we currently have and refresh. And you'll notice that's the row that we just added. So if we refresh this again and go over to Neon, it's gonna add another row, so. There you go. Neon database is officially incorporated into the app and now we can store stuff persistently. And if that's not enough for you to sign up for a free Neon Postgres database, check out this ad. So use the link in the description below to sign up for a free Postgres database through Neon. And now let's get back to the programming and we're gonna go through the Vercel deployment. And finally, we're gonna deploy it on Vercel. To deploy on Vercel, just go over and create a new project. Then select the Git repository that you want to connect it to. So I'll select this one it'll notice that it's Next.js. And the only other part that you're gonna to wanna to update before you select deploy is inputting your Postgres credentials here. On the Vercel side, I already have this app up and it's simple to navigate to. So just to show you, you could go over to a deployment and then you'd select this. Then we can go to the API Neon route. And there you'll see we have some of the JSON that is now in the table here. So if we refresh the table, we should see one more row and there it is. That's our latest row after we pung our API route. So that's as simple as it gets for Vercel deployments.